Hi guys, welcome to this PowerPoint module. In this module we're going to look at hyperlinks in PowerPoint, to hyperlink around slides and also to hyperlink into another program such as Word or Excel. First of all, I've got four slides here all about the Battle of Waterloo. What I want to do is create a hyperlink from this index slide to each of those slides and then where it says casualties to a a chart that I have in that I have in Excel. So first of all, I'm going to double click on the title Waterloo and create a hyperlink to it. So normally I'd be on the home tab. I've clicked onto the insert tab and then link. First option is for a file elsewhere or a web page. So I want this option place in this document and the first one is a title slide OK to that, and I do the same for each of the other slides. British forces, French forces, and casualties is going to be an Excel file which is not in this slide. So I've called it casualties, so there it is. Like so. Now, if I save what I've just done and put this into full screen, you can see how that works. So I click on Waterloo, it hyperlinks to Waterloo. Now, obviously, I need something on Waterloo to get me back to the index slide, and I would need something on each slide to do that. So I'm going to insert a picture. Um, Find some pictures, Waterloo. So that was the British forces, so I'll use the Duke of Wellington. Now, I can use any image really, but the same process applies. Insert link, place in this document to the index slide. OK. And I'll do the same on the French forces slide. Insert a picture. Find Napoleon. That's quite regal, so slightly large. Make that smaller, just push it over there. Click on the insert tab, link back to the index. So I've got one, two. So the title slide, let's put a picture on the title slide. Um, that one, F famous picture of the Battle of Waterloo. Let's put that down there and create a link back to the index slide. Now if I put that into full screen, I have a link, British forces, link back, French forces, link back. Now casualties was linked to an Excel spreadsheet. is just a graph of casualties but when you link into Word or Excel you have the whole functionality of that file that you can utilize rather than trying to put something that's quite large onto a slide which then becomes difficult to see if you're presenting this it's a lot better I think if you actually open the program that the data is in that you want to talk about and then once you finish that you can close that don't want to save that now, that is one way of creating hyperlinks, but I, I could also do this. I'm going into Slide Master, I'm going to create a hyperlink in the Slide Master using my logo to get back to the index slide. So to get into the Slide Master, I'm going to go View, Slide Master. I'm going to click on the top one, and then I'm clicking on my logo. And I'm going to repeat the process. The process. So, link to the index. Click OK. Now, because this is on every slide, every slide will automatically have a link back to the index. So, if I close the slide master, put this back into full screen. I can now click on that. It takes me to the index. 
click on British Forces, click on that, French, click on that, and each time I'm coming back to uh, the index slide. Now, just a word of caution, if you put the hyperlink into the bottom corner, sometimes if you're not touching your mouse, your mouse can drop off into the corner and then you end up clicking a hyperlink when you don't particularly want to. But hyperlinks are a great way of navigating around your presentation without other people seeing what you're doing because if you use the preloaded features, everybody that's watching your presentation can see all of this. They see what you're doing and it doesn't look great. Whereas when you are just clicking a link, especially if it's a photograph or a logo or even a blank space, because you could just create a, hi create a hyperlink on a box, say in the slide master, and then hide the lines. It's just a space that you point to. It's far more professional and a lot slicker than letting everybody see what you're doing. So that's the end of this session. If you enjoyed this session and would like some more on PowerPoint, please subscribe below and please feel free to add any comments. Thank you for your time.